Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be going through the problem on the screen. I believe it's from some kind of revision guide for GCSE Higher Mathematics. Now, the people that wrote this question believed it was a seven mark question. I couldn't fit the whole screenshot on the page, but down the bottom of this page, it says seven marks for this question. So I encourage you to have a go and let me know what you think. Do you think this is actually a seven mark question or do you think they got it a little bit wrong in that revision guide? So if you haven't already, pause the video now and have a go. Okay, welcome back if you had a go at this question already. So the question says the diagrams show a workbench with two identical wooden cuboids A and B placed in different positions. Here we have the diagram and it says calculate the height H of the workbench. Okay, so let's take a close look at these diagrams. Here's the height H and then these cuboids they say are identical. So in other words, the length and the width of each one are going to be the same. So what my mind immediately jumps to when I am given a question like this, where I've got two separate diagrams with slightly different measurements is that I'm thinking simultaneous equations and I'm thinking I want to create equations out of these diagrams. So the first thing I would do is to introduce some unknowns for the length and width of these blocks here. So these blocks A and B, because we're talking about lengths here and what's stopping us from finding H or what's making this difficult is we don't know the measurements of these blocks. If we knew the width and the length of these blocks, it would be easy, right? Let's say this one was five centimeters, this one was 10 centimeters. We could work this out. We could say 77 uh, subtract five plus 10 would equal H, but we don't know the measurements of the cuboids. However, we can introduce some unknowns, some letters, some algebra to help us create equations and then hopefully solve those equations uh, for H. So the first thing I might do here is to give some labels to the length and width of this cube. And I might draw a small diagram over here just to make this a bit, uh, this explanation a bit easier to understand. Okay. So here's the cuboid and remember it says they're both identical. So A and B, they'll have the same length and width as each other. So let's call the width, let's call the width W and the length L. L for length, W for width. So in this first diagram, we have the height of the workbench plus the length of that block, which we've called L. So we're doing H plus L and then subtract the width because we're not including that in this measurement. So subtract W for width and this equals 77. Okay, so hopefully you can see how I'm producing this equation. Again, the height plus the length, take the width, and that equals the measurement they give us, 77. Let's try to create an equation out of this diagram now. And if you didn't quite get this far, see if you can come up with an equation for the second diagram here, similar to the way that I did it for the first diagram. So for the second one, they haven't given us H, but it's still this length here. This is still H, and we are now adding on the width. So we're doing H plus the width of that block and we're subtracting the length. So take L and now this measurement is 63. Okay. So now we have two equations and we're actually going to be able to solve these equations for H, even though there are three unknowns, it works out in a way that we can eliminate one of them and we end up being able to solve for H. Now there's a couple ways you could do this. You could either rearrange these in terms of H and then set them equal to each other, or you could use elimination. That's what I'm going to do right now. So to eliminate one of the unknowns, you can subtract these equations. This is called the elimination method of solving simultaneous equations. So subtract these equations just as you'd subtract anything else, like subtract two two digit numbers. And I actually might write this round slightly differently. Uh, because it's going to make it easier to uh, solve with the simultaneous equations. So we had negative L plus W. Okay. Basically when you're doing elimination, it's important to have the unknowns lined up or it just makes it slightly easier. All right. So now we're subtracting the equations H take H that's zero. They eliminate each other. That's the whole point. Positive L subtract negative L that's L plus L two negatives make a positive. So we'll have two L here and then negative W take positive W, that's negative W take W, that's negative two W. And then we have 77 subtract 63. The difference there is 14. Okay, so now we have two L take 
2w equals 14. If I divide through by 2 here, divide through by 2, then uh, L, 2L divided by 2 is just L, 2W divided by 2 is just W, 14 divided by 2 is 7. And now we have this equation L take W equals 7. All right, go back to our original equations. Do you notice this expression, L take W, anywhere in these equations? That's right. Hopefully you can see it. It is right here, L take W. Okay, and we're saying that equals 7. Now, we can take that original equation, h plus 7 equals 77. h plus 7 equals 77. What plus 7 equals 77? Well, h must equal 70, right? h equals 70. And that's your final answer for h. So going back to the question again, calculate the height h of the workbench, h equals 70 centimetres. Okay, so that is one way to do this. Going back to the diagrams again, you can also just, instead of giving these length and width each separate unknowns, you can introduce just one unknown. So let me draw two blocks again. Okay, so looking at these diagrams a bit closer, you might notice that in the first one, we are adding the difference between the length and the width. And then in the second one, we are subtracting that difference. So looking at this, these two blocks again, uh, we're adding this difference here. This is the difference between the height and the width. So we could call this x, for example. In the first diagram, we're adding that. So we're doing h plus x equals 77. In the second one, we're subtracting that difference because we're adding the shorter length and subtracting the longer one. So essentially, we're subtracting the difference between them. So we're doing h take x equals 63. And then it makes it a little bit easier to see, well, h plus something equals 77, h takes something equals 63. Clearly, that's something that difference there is 7. This equals 7. The difference between the, the length and the width and h must be 70. Okay, so I personally, if you want to know my opinion, I don't think that's quite worth 7 marks. But the reason I went through it is because this type of question where you're given a length and then two separate parts to it. Uh, I've seen a version of this question where they're using turtles for some reason. I'm not sure why they use turtles. But this type of question I've seen before, and I think it is useful just to, to see, you know, ways of solving it. Okay, so what did you think of that question? Do you think that's an interesting problem? Did you have a go at it? How did you go? Uh, let me know in the comments. Did you have a different way of solving it? I always love to hear different solutions in the comments if you want to leave one. And I'll be adding this video to my problem solving playlist. Make sure to check out that playlist if you need practice with problem solving. It's my belief that problem solving is one of the most important parts of your mathematics education, especially for the GCSE higher tier, where they are often throwing in questions in the exams that no one's seen before. And the only way you can really prepare yourself for those questions is by practicing problem solving and having good problem solving skills. Um, I hope you appreciated this video. Please leave a like if you did. I hope your 2020 is going well so far and you're feeling uh, prepared and excited for the year ahead. As always, subscribe if you want to see more content and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.